Hello everyone. I am Dr. Bhagesh Bhuir. Today I will start new subject uh, human resource management in global perspective. So HRM in global perspective. First we have to learn what is the meaning of IHRM International Human Resource Management. It is a process of procuring allocations effectively utilize human resource in an international business. It's called international human resource management. Here we have to first procure you have to recruit the employees you have to allocate that uh, employees you have to allocate that uh, work to the employees and utilize effectively human resource process in your international human resource business means you have to effectively utilize your hrm you have to uh, effectively utilize your human resource in international human resource management there are uh, so many activities which is involved in ihrm which include performance management training and development compensation and benefits, industry relations, staffing, human resource planning. So we will learn de in details about each and every concept. First is the human resource planning. Here we have to recruit the employees at international levels. So we have to follow the process of recruitment and selections. Second, we have to manage performance management. Whenever we recruit the employees, we have to see their performance, whether the employees is working effectively or not. Next is the training and development. If employees is not perform their job effectively, so after the performance management, we have to train that employees. Here, we have to conduct some training program for that employee so that employee can effectively do their job. Next is the compensation and benefits. The, uh, which is most important like if you uh, want to retain the employees the compensation and benefits play a vital role next is the industrial relations which is important activity in hr process industrial relation means what it is relation between the employees and employers employees uh, empl uh, and trade unions it is a relation between the management and trade unions also so here we have to maintain good industrial relation between the employees and employers and we have to uh, maintain that uh, we have to follow the proper collective bargaining process so that uh, we can uh, we can follow the good industrial relation in the organizations next is the staffing staffing means what we have to uh, manage the manpower of the organizations and same is the human resource planning also so it's all about the human uh, ihrm what are the activities which include in ihrm next is a model developed by the more than present IHRM on three dimensions. So what are the three dimensions are there? First is the HR activities which involve the procurement. Next is the allocations and utilize. Same, we have to do the HR uh, human resource planning. We have to allocate the job to the each and every employees, what type of job they have to do. And we have to effectively utilize their resources for managing effectively their job also. Next is the type of countries which are involved uh, which are these are the dimensions type of countries what are the different type of countries are involved it include the host country parent country and other countries also next is the type of employees which is involved in international human resource management like host country nationals parent country nationals and third country nationals host country national means the employees is from the same country uh, same country whichever we are recruiting the uh, for the uh, for our companies. Next is a parent country nationals. Parent country national means if the person who uh, want to set up their business, he, he uh, his business based from, uh, from uh, uh, same uh, India and he want to set up their business in Japan or any other country. So he is recruiting the employees from the same nationals from India only for and he will fulfill their key positions. Next is a third country nationals. The person who has set up their job in he's uh, he's from india and if he has set up their job in japan but he has recruited the person from other country like germany from or russia or uk or us so it's all about the type of employees which he will recruit for the uh, for his company next is a uh, features of ihm what are the different features of ihm so Shall I stop?